So let's look at uh, all the definitions one by one here. Um, so what is demand? Uh, demand of an installation or system is the load um, at the receiving terminals averaged over a specific or, or, or a specified period of time. Um, and the demand interval would be the interval where you are, you know, um, the period over which the load is averaged. Um, Michael is asking what is the definition of maximum demand? Uh, so yeah, maximum demand uh, is the maximum uh, demand of an installation or system. So you might have different demands over a period of time, right? But uh, there will be a point in time where you would have a maximum demand. For example, if you think of our household, uh, you know, over the course of 24 hours, there would be a time when, you know, you would be using um, the most, when you have all your appliances, for example, um, on at the same time. Uh, then you would have your maximum demand uh, at that point of time. So it's defined, yeah, by the, when it's when the demand is the greatest of all all your demands throughout, uh, you know, over a period of time, um, that would be your maximum value. Uh, Ricky says it's probably similar to peak load. Yeah, Ricky, in a sense, yep. Um, uh, then we have uh, diversified demand. Um, also known as coincident demand. So what is diversified demand? When you have like a, say a group of, you know, uh, uh, that you're measuring the demand of um, and um, when it's uh, measuring the demand of that particular group over a period of time, um, it's called uh, coincident demand or diversified demand. Um, and it's given by DG, so D subscript G. Um, um, and the formula is also given in the handbook. Um, and non-coincident demand, on the other hand, is the opposite of that. When you don't have, you know, no, when there are no restrictions, when there is no, you know, a certain group, uh, then uh, the demands of that particular group or the loads uh, would be non-coincident demand. Um, then there are some factors that they provided uh, in the handbook. For example, demand factor would be the maximum demand value um, by the total connected demand. Um, Connected load uh, would be some of the continuous ratings of load, uh, whatever load is being connected. Uh, utilization factor is the maximum demand by the rated uh, system capacity. Um, and uh, similarly, a plan factor would be, you know, um, the actual energy produced by the maximum rating that that plant can produce um, times T, which is the time interval. If you're doing annual, then that would be um, um, eight, uh, Michael says, how does that maximum demand different from connected demand? How does the maximum demand So Michael, my maximum demand, like, uh, like I said, it would be the greatest of all demands. So you might have, you know, different demands throughout that period of time, whenever you're measuring your demand. Um, there will be a point in time when you will have the peak value for that demand. Um, connected demand would be, you know, uh, oh, you're asking this connected. So yeah, this is, uh, for example, you have, you know, two transformers connected to um, a line, for example. So um, so the connected load would be, you know, um, the sum of uh, whatever load both of those transformers are, you know. Um, uh, so plan factor, uh, load factor as well, it, the average load by peak load, um, annual annual load factor, you just factor in the hours uh, for a year. Um, then there are some loss factors as well. Um, that's average power loss by the power loss at uh, peak, peak, peak load. 